Hello, this is Greg Baldwin with the Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate Metro Brokers in LJ, Georgia. I am at 308 Old Tails Creek Road, not too far north of town. Very convenient location. I want to get in the shade, kind of start you out with this drive. That's Old Tails Creek Road. Lovely little drive right here. It just got very bright. This is looking back toward the house. The house has a, I think it's a two-car garage underneath, plus a uh, bonus shed that we're going to take a look at. But I just wanted to kind of show you the, the neighbors and the yard while I was here. Very attractive place. It comes with 4.43 acres. Not sure where they run. I've not looked at the property lines. Um, but this is from the driveway. I would say that this house is most likely priced to sell because it is listed at $452,000. It's only been on the market for two days. It's a four bed, three bath. Uh, like I said, 4.43 acres. It was built in 1997. Nice Japanese maple in the front yard there's the shed I might have been wrong about the two-car garage there was a, another agent that was parked here I was thinking there was a garage here but there isn't so we'll find out the deal on that garage um, that may be it right there so let's walk up to the front door Very attractive. The steps and the porch feel very solid. There's your neighbor over that way. And I'm going to put you on pause for a moment. I've actually not been in the house yet, so we're going to get this unlocked and I'll pick you back up momentarily. Okay, so this house has a lot to offer, so I'm going to shorten. I've already spent two minutes in the yard, so I'm going to quicken this up a little bit. I'm just inside the front door. Turn left. You have a nice half bath. And the owner still lives here, so it, you'll see their, their belongings. But it's a nice half bath. Also, I can tell you after having walked the main floor... The floor is good, no soft spots, and the house also has very neutral smelling. Uh, it smells very nice. No odors. Steps up. We'll head that way shortly. But to the right of the front door, this is your living area. Looking back to where I just came from the window to the front porch and we have a dining area over here there there are some some things that will need some work it's not perfect but it is a very nice house so we have a side porch that is screened kitchen area steps down we'll take care of that momentarily as well
shelf lighting. Love the little window here. Fridge. Pantry closet. Oops. Light. Let's see if we have a light switch. Yes, we do. other side of the stairs we have the master bedroom I do not think the house comes furnished but that's something that we can look at nice in-wall safe don't see those that often that's a handy feature and we have access to the uncovered back deck from the master bedroom that's where we just were as you can see it is a beautiful day in the neighborhood tub also with a stand-up shower very nice this is a very nice home and then here we have a nice fairly decent sized walk-in closet also on this side so we won't go too personal on that space not been downstairs yet so we're going to adventure downstairs together That makes me think there was a pool table here maybe at one time. I'm not sure what we have here. If that served a purpose. Looks like they had something hanging on it. They definitely had the big screen TV. Ooh, a gun rack. Very nice. Don't know if that's staying, but basically what you have here is a closet with storage space, another in-wall safe. Let's see if we can shed some light on this. I do not see a light switch in here, but there is a light. Well. Yeah, I don't see a switch. So I don't know where the light switch is, but it's there. That's not it. Unlock that door. Closet storage space. Over here we have a small kitchen. Very nice. Sink, microwave, room for a coffee maker. Then you have a whole other room here. So, I want to go back around to this other side of the stairs and see what we have over here. We have a 
downstairs bathroom, full bath. Tub and shower. And our washer and dryer space. Very nice. And then this way, we have an extra room. Looks like somebody's been in here getting their walk on. Closet space. And then we're going to walk outside from down here. But before we do, I want to finish the house off. So we're going to go back upstairs. All right, I paused you just long enough to get to the upstairs. Top of the stairs. Nice. Big bathroom. shower All right, there's a little bit of carpet damage there but this is actually pretty big for an upstairs room we're just gonna open one of the closets nice shelving look like yeah it goes all the way across so both of these closet doors to the same space there's another one over there the way same here with this closet both of these doors go to the same closet space closet space here so lots and lots of closet space here all right I'm gonna put you on pause until I get back downstairs all right so this is the space just outside one of the back doors there's the other one over there from that additional room again I'll have to find out how much of this furniture is staying with the house if any So that's your garage. It looks like it's in a little bit of disrepair. We'll see if there is a side door. No. I don't see. There's an electronic reader right there. I don't think this thing is coming up outside of a uh, garage door opener. Here we go. Side door. Didn't see this coming. Pegboard walls. That's a nice workshop. Wow. Close that up. Love that view. So nice. And then let's take a look at the little playhouse. Man cave, she shed. You buy it, you name it. Looks a little in disrepair. I can't 
really tell from right here. Here's a view of the house from the back. There we go. And more workspace. Bad. It doesn't smell bad in here either. It smells like wood. So, so this is 308 Tails Creek Road. I do not have the listing sheet on me, but I know we were priced, I think, in the 450s. I do not see this one lasting long, but you never know. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here so I can go back and cut some lights off. If you have any questions about this property, you can reach me at 678. 207-6888. Thank you so much.